Hi folks, HR Funk here with a product that I have been wanting to try for almost exactly a year. It was almost exactly one year ago today as I record this that I first saw the Real Avid Smart Assist at the 2023 National Rifle Association annual meeting. And if you recall back in 2023, I produced a series of several reviews on Real Avid products based on what I saw at their display at the meeting last year. And I've really been impressed with Real Avid products. Their innovation and the thought that goes into their products impresses me. And the premier example of that is my vice that I have right here. Actually, I purchased this, or at least ordered it, at last year's NRA annual meeting. In fact, Mimi actually bought this for me. I, I liked it so much, she decided she was going to buy it for me as a gift. And I keep coming up with new ways to use this thing. It's that versatile. By the way, thanks baby, I love the vice, love you, see you later. <laughs> anyway, the Smart Assist integrates with the master gun vise and also with the master workstation that Real Avid came out with about midway through 2023 and actually enhances the functions of both the vise and the workstation. And in this video, I'm going to show you this Real Avid Smart Assist. I'll show you how it attaches to the vise and some of the things that it does. I doubt that I'll figure out everything that I can do with it in the course of this video, but I will tell you more and more about it as time passes and I come up with more and more ways to use this thing. The Real Avid Smart Assist, in case you don't know exactly what it is, is a series of flexible arms. There's three of them actually, and each one has a different attachment on the end to help you while you're working on firearms or working on anything else. And the attachments are an LED light, a magnifying glass, and an arm that will hold your cell phone, or smartphone I should say. The idea is so many times we're working on firearms or we're working on things that either the light isn't quite right, there's a shadow on something we're working on, or we can't quite see well enough to be able to see what we're doing, or sometimes we might be watching an instructional video that's showing us how to perform some sort of repair or maintenance or what have you, and all of these attachments will address those issues. By the way, for videographers like me, I now have the ability to have my light and my camera right where I need them to be, which sometimes is a real challenge to be able to have no shadow and have a camera right where you can see what I'm doing when I'm working on something. So this addresses my lights, my camera, then the only thing left is the action, which may or may not be good, but <laughs> I do my best. The Smart Assist sells on the Optics Planet website right now for basically $100. It's $99.99, but you can use my discount code, which is and that'll save you 7% on your purchase from Optics Planet on the Smart Assist. So that knocks it down to about $93. Even I can do that type of math in my head. And I want to say thanks to the folks at Optics Planet for supplying me with the Smart Assist for this review. Now I'm going to start to take it out of the box. I'll show you how it attaches to the vise, and we'll start to take a look at exactly what this does. So here I've removed the Smart Assist from the box, and I'm going to start to remove each one of the arms. This obviously is the LED. The next one is the magnifying glass. And last is the phone slash camera holder. Final item inside is the adapter for the vise. And also there is a charging cord with a USB port for the LED. So that's pretty much it for what comes in the box. There are no instructions, so you basically have to be able to figure this out on your own. By the way, folks, that figuring out part is not really too tough. I'm pretty sure even an old jarhead like me can figure this one out. First thing I'm going to do is remove the extending vise jaw, or side of the vise that that jaw is on. Next, I'm going to remove this padded rest because the adapter for the Smart Assist is going to take the place of that. I'm going to slide the vise in just like that, and that way the pad is back on top, so if you have something resting on there, it has a padded surface. Reinsert this side of the vise, tighten it back down, and the adapter 
is now installed and I'm going to have to change the position of the camera now so you can see how I attach the clips for those flexible arms. So I've actually changed the position of the camera and the vise because I want to be able to show you a couple of things about this adapter block. If you notice on the side, hopefully you can see this, maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. There are these little latching points right along the side of each one of these holes that are in the front. These correspond, as soon as I grab one of the flexible arms, with these clips that are on the end of each arm. So when you insert this part, the black part, into the hole, that clip snaps along the side and locks the arm in place. So you can mix and match these, you can put whichever arm you want in whichever hole, and if you're doing something where you don't need these, or maybe they're in the way, it's very quick and easy to just unclip that arm and remove it. So here I've attached all three of the arms to the vise, and you can see exactly how this would work. If you have something in the vise that you're performing some sort of maintenance on or doing some sort of repair or whatever, the magnifying glass is available to help you see those small parts or into those areas that might be difficult. You have the light to be able to move your illumination to exactly where you need it to be able to see what you're doing. And once again, if you're watching something, some sort of an instructional video or what have you, as you're performing your work, you have the place right here to put that phone. Now I'm going to change the camera over to this position and we'll be able to put something in here. I'll grab a firearm or something quick and show you just exactly how this would look if you're using it for video recording. So I just grabbed the Sub 2000 off the wall behind me to use as a prop. And let's say we were talking about installing an optic or something like that. I now have the camera mounted to that flexible arm and I can magnify it and move it where I need to in order to get just the camera angle that I want to show you while I'm working. I can move the light, once I turn it back on, there we go, to get the light just where I need it to be so you can see what I'm doing. And again, I can completely move the arms to the other side if I need to in order to be able to change things around. The magnifying glass isn't going to do much for you when I'm recording a video, but it might help me a lot <laughs> when I'm actually performing some of these operations. By the way, I just realized that the light can actually be detached from the arm, and there is a clip on the back, so you could clip that onto your pocket or what have you, and then when you don't need it, it goes right back in there. So another well thought out little detail there by Real Avid. Basically, there is infinite adjustability to all of these different arms. Everything will rotate. The magnifying glass rotates. The camera has all kinds of different, or I should say the phone, has all kinds of different adjustments. So you can really position these things exactly where you need them to be while you're performing whatever that work is that you're engaged in. So there you go. That's my quick review of the Smart Assist from Real Avid. If you have any questions or comments about this video, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you purchase anything like the Smart Assist from Optics Planet, you can use my discount code, which once again is... And if you use that discount code, it'll save you 7% off your purchase from Optics Planet. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.